Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an April favourites video and um, my favourites are mainly beauty um, related um, so here goes um, first up is some Lush and it is the Honey I Wash The Kids soap here it is and let me see if I still got the price. I got 0 0.170 kilograms for five pounds and two p. And this is so good. Oh, it's just the nicest. I think it's the nicest lush soap. It lathers up really well. It's really creamy. Like I can feel the oils coming off of my fingers just by rubbing it. It's a sweet smell, but it's not sickly. Some of the soaps that are really like sweet can make them a bit icky, but this is just a really good balance. And it's my favorite soap um, by far of all the Lush ones. I just had another um, bath this morning using the Oh So Blooming bath mount, and it's gorgeous, by the way. That's not an April favorite, but the Honey I Wash the Kids definitely, definitely is. Out of all my Lush soaps, I've been reaching for that one the most. So I love it. Next up is... What should I do next? These. Two nail varnishes. I couldn't pick one for my April favourites. I had to have two. These two babies. And they are both pastels. Um, this first one is OPI. And it's called, I don't know if you can see that, it's called Done Out in Deco. Um, I'll put, sorry, I don't have my face. I'll put all the information down in the down bar. Um, this is the nicest lavender ever. And um, OPI, I love OPI varnishes. I think they're about £12 in the UK. And um, they just are really nice and glossy. Um, they're really true to what they look like in the bottle. Um, they've got a good opaqueness about them, so they're, they're not streaky um, at all. And two coats is good for a nice opaque colour. And they give a high gloss finish without top coat, and they last about a week, which is really good. Next one is a little bit cheaper, um, a drugstore brand. This is Revlon's Minted. Oh. I don't even think, oh, it's not even on the bottom. It's there. Zero. Zero to eight, minted. And um, this is about six pounds, I think. I got it from Superdrug. And um, it is really nice. Um, it's a bit streakier than an OPI. Um, but it's really nice. Mint pistachio green color. Um, and so these ones, I was constantly painting my nails with these two varnishes. So they are my April favourite 2010 varnishes. Pastel green and pastel purple. Lilacy cut. Next is my MAC Harmony Contour Powder. And I can't remember how much this was, but I got it off the MAC cosmetics website um, and I love it it's amazing um, I never really used to contour until I started watching YouTube videos and Harmony is the one that Pixie Twoo Tanya wears all the time and I tried it and I love it I never used to contour I used to just do like bronzer my cheekbones and stuff but I much prefer the sort of colour and the sort of um, the, w the way it angles and contours your face with a matte bronzer and that's a perfect shade for me so matte harmony was like um, an amazing purchase and I use it every day now next is a I'm a big fan of Louise Young, Young brushes and this is another one I got and it is a Louise Young and it's called a socket brush and I'll get it close to the camera it's quite dense, as you can see. I'm pushing on my hand. Um, and it goes to a really nice fine point. And it's just the perfect brush to pop um, contour colours in with. 
it's um, got fine points so you can really do a really sharp cut crease or you can load the brush and do a really nice smoked out soft contouring of your eye um, and it's just the perfect shape, the perfect density um, they wash really well Louise Young brushes there's hardly any shedding I've never, this brush has never shed uh, it's just the perfect cone shaped brush for contouring I love it um, two more to go this is like I've been on about Zentan to all my beauty friends for about I don't even know why I first started trying it. I've been on to my friends about it for like three years. They always say, oh, what, like, have you been on a sunbed? No. What to fake, you know, what fake tan are you use? Why are you still so brown? You went on a holiday ages ago. I say, it's fake tan. Zen tan. Why have you never heard of it? It's amazing. It's so much better. Like, I've tried so many. Clarin, Saint Tropez, Fake Bake, Urban Tan, um, Gino. Clarins, I think I said that. I've just tried, I've tried so many. And it's not like I've just tried the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. I've tried the lotion, I've tried the spray. Fake bake, I've tried the regular lotion, the fair lotion, the extreme gel, the airbrush can. Um, Clarins, I've used loads. I do really like the Clarins tint for your face and neck, that's good. But Zentan dark lotion, I think it's the best in the Zentan range as well. I've also tried the Lux. Um, I've not tried their gradual tanners, but I've heard they're really good. I've not used the mitt, the sorry, the spritz or the mousse. I would really like to try the mousse because um, I do quite like a mousse consistency. But this is so good. This is the best fake tan I've ever used. Um, I don't. I mean, I applied it last um, Tuesday night, and it's now next Thursday, so it's well over a week. Um, and I'm going to do it again. I'd normally do it every week, um, but I'm going to do it again tonight because I've had my foot. But it is amazing. It's the best self tan, and I get it from feelunique.com because it's the cheapest. It's like eighteen pounds for two hundred and thirty-six mils. It's amazing. And finally, this. Now, this originally is my boyfriend's hair product that he puts in his hair. Um, and I was using a serum after I used my sea salt spray and a blow dry, I was using a serum, but I found that the serum was way too greasy, too heavy, and didn't give me the hold that I wanted um, to keep my hair sort of um, volumised, um, wavy. This is amazing. This is Fudge Matte Head Firm Hold Texture Paste with an extra matte finish, and this is a hold factor of nine. And here's the pump. And just squeeze about maybe like a two centimetre out of here and put it all in the ends of my hair and it's amazing, keeps it volumised, um, holds the curl and it's, it's texturised, it's matte, it doesn't feel sticky, um, it doesn't make my hair greasy and it lasts all day. It separates your ends just so nice. So I definitely recommend that for girls who like a beachy, wavy sort of vibe. Um, in summer or in the winter I have my hair like that all year round um, so yeah they are my April favourites um, hope you enjoyed that it was quite brief but um, those are just the, really, the products that stood out to me I didn't want to do loads and bombard you with loads of stuff um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed it um, I'd love to see like comments and video responses about what your April favourites are. Um, I've checked out like the Gloss Goss um, and Dolce Candy's April favourites and they're also really good so check them out. And um, yeah, I look forward to reading your comments and seeing your video responses. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye!